So when you're making shapes inside of Illustrator, one of the really handy things to use is the anchor point tool. Now its primary purpose is to convert corner anchor points into smooth anchor points and vice versa. So here, if I draw an ellipse to match this pale blue color template in the background, just so you can see where I'm heading to. And then if I switch to the direct selection tool, click on the top anchor point, cause all ellipses are composed of four anchor points. I have my anchor exactly where I need it to match the template at the top. However, this is a smooth anchor point. Note the handles on either side. But if I go to the tools panel and click and hold down on the pen tool to reveal from the list in there, the anchor point tool, when you hover over a smooth anchor point and left click, it removes the curvature. And conversely, you can go back to that anchor point, click and hold down the mouse and drag, and you can pull out and add handles. Now the benefit to this is that not only can you add handles, but you can also spin them around to your liking. And again, left click on the anchor point to remove the curvature, but that's not all. So if I pick up my pen tool, and if I just land a series of left clicks on all of the points of the template in the background, again, just so you can see where I'm heading to for this, I'm not doing any dragging here. And of course, seems like this doesn't match the shape in any way, shape or form. But if I go back to the pen tool, click and hold down and pick up the anchor point tool, instead of interacting with the anchors, this time, if I hover my cursor over the segment, you'll activate the reshape option. So if I drag that now with the left mouse button, you can pull the curves into the places where you need them. So it takes away some of that fiddly nature of the pen tool. And if you need to add curvature, you have the option to add that afterwards. So a series of nice left clicks of the mouse in there to create these shapes and then modify them by just dragging that segment any way you need it to. Notice that also it's kept the same number of anchor points. It's only added handles where it needs to on the existing path. So it makes the path and the way that you edit that nice and straightforward. And again, with this example where I have a path that's just drawn out very basic as before, again, I can hover over the segment and drag it into shape. But notice that if I want to create kind of a semicircle appearance, when you hover your anchor point tool over the segment, if you hold down the shift key, it will give you handles that are pulled out perpendicular to the path. And that's a great way of being able to get those semicircle appearances much, much easier. If it's a shallow curve, more elliptical in nature, then you can simply click and drag on the segment and you can even reshape those handles just by using the same tool. The anchor point tool will allow you to modify the handles, making that process much quicker. You don't have to switch to the direct selection tool. So it is a very versatile tool. It's just that some of those really great features are hidden away. And that is the anchor point tool. Thanks for watching folks. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, you can always subscribe. If you click on the bell, you'll get a notification every time we release a video on this channel, which now will be every Wednesday at half past 12 GMT. And in the next episode, I'm going to show you how you can create asymmetrical shapes like the bat symbol inside of Illustrator. Until then, farewell folks.